Hey guys, Matt, Iron Drop Garage, and today we're going to be working on the 33 three window project again. As a reminder for anybody that hasn't caught up with this project in a while, we've been working around doing things that we can do while we're waiting for the engine to come back from the engine builder. So there is a lot of known points that we can work around, um, but there is some unknown stuff that we need to kind of wait till we have the actual engine or the engine is further along that we can get some good measurements to continue building on the car. So uh, today we're going to be working on getting some pedal stuff figured out and maybe roughly mocked up. We'll see how far we get. Um, in the last video we worked on the steering stuff for the second time <laughs> and this last time we nailed it. I got the steering box moved back like something like five and a half inches I think it ended up being and everything jived real nice. We have plenty of room for headers. Um, the steering box actually coming back closer to the driver made it better for pedals, for mounting the pedals in this car, etc, etc. So today we're going to be working on the pedals and uh, we're going to take you along for a ride and kind of the thought process for figuring a lot of this stuff out. So let's get started. Alright, so a couple things I did off camera. I found a, this car had an old chrome 40 Ford column, steering column tube with drop and uh, ignition stuff and it was, an, it was chrome at some point in its life. So um, one thing was we moved the steering box back. We weren't gonna be able to use that drop anymore because the stock location of the drop was like here or further up, I forget. So um, I decided to grab this old chrome steering column tube I had sitting around that's from a 40 Ford, clean it up and then take this old uh, polished moon drop, which is more universal. I had a few of them to choose from. They made them all different lengths and mounted up this three and a half inch, I think it is, drop. Everything's nice and tight now. Bolted into the 40 dash, and we are doing good. So now, we are ready to work on the pedals. So, two sets of pedals I have here. Again, as a reminder, we're working around. This was an old hot rod. So we used some bolt holes that were already there to kind of figure out what was going on. And they had two master cylinders here that are later Ford, later as in like 49 or 50 and later. Master cylinders, maybe even later. Um, there, voltage regulator there. So we're going to try and keep with this master cylinder setup. One for clutch, one for brakes, because we are using the LaSalle transmission. Did that on the uh, Schroll car and I really like it. So this is the first set of pedals. I got these from my buddy Jim. I don't know if they're Anson or what they are. They're kind of like universal. Somebody chromed them. Obviously I like that um, back in the day. I polished them, but they are really short and the pedals are really close together there. So. Uh, I'd have to heat and bend these pedal arms and I think they're going to get really short which is going to make the pedal really hard to push in. So I think I'm going to hold off on using this. They're probably better for like a Model T or something else. Model A project, I'm not sure. So we have this pedal set here. We got an Oregon from the old Bonneville racer um, that was in his 90s um, and we found this in the attic with all kinds of neat stuff. He couldn't remember if this is from his son building uh, like 60s and 70s foreign cars or if it was something that he had scavenged and had in a race car. Either way, it's really cool. I don't care what it is. It's neat. You can tell somebody's already been heating and bending and doing stuff to the pedals with the way they're angled there. Um, it has little springs here uh, for return. So I think I'm going to try and use this. Biggest problem is this bolt pattern does not match the Ford one. I think I'm going to have to make some kind of base plate that's like bigger that this can bolt to and then it will also spread the load across the firewall. I think that would be a good way to do it. It's a little more safe. and is isn't too intrusive inside the car and then we'll figure something out for this top so we don't have to just run bolt holes through the top of the cow. So walk you through the process and hopefully by the end, these pedals will be in this car.
right, so in the last couple shots, I was welding up these braces here. We have the center pivot um, that we drilled and tapped, and actually in the center of this bar, I have it drilled and tapped, and we have a stud in there so you can actually separate it just to make it easier to take it apart. Um, now, what we're basically using at this point is just the pedals, and even those I'm probably gonna modify, but I just like the look of them, if anything. Um, but in this case, probably could have just manufactured everything from scratch. So I have the pedals here and what I've done is I went ahead and marked, basically we need to turn down from here over on both sides. I split it in the center and it's tapped so it's easy to take apart. And um, we're gonna set the pedal there. So I have a rough mark where we're gonna turn this shaft down from here to the end. And then I'm gonna have to make bushings for the end basically to keep everything in those holes we bored in the braces. But we have everything kind of starting to work out and uh, once we turn this down, we've already taken measurements, we can fit our pedals on and then we're gonna probably have to put some kind of circlips of some sort to keep the pedal kind of located um, where we want it to be. But the first thing is get the pedals to slide on here. As always, this is much more involved than I originally planned, but it should be very strong and pretty cool in the end. So I'm gonna get this all taken apart here and then we can chuck it up in the lathe, the two pieces and turn them down. Hopefully this thing isn't super hard to take apart on camera. It's as easy as this. Sledgehammer, heat. <laughs> I don't know how Bob Vila did it, man. Right. He made everything look so easy. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, we don't even, I didn't even need to split the damn thing. But we did. Anyways, it splits apart there. Pretty good. All right, so got everything welded up. I went and welded around the perimeter here. Uh, last shot I was uh, cutting a groove for the circlip on both sides. So the way I have this machined, the pedal sits up tight against the end of the shaft, which goes through there, and it is bolted. And then the circlip holds the pedal right where it needs to be. And you can see we got the pedals sitting there. Now I know the pedals need to be heated and bent because whatever car they were out of, I'm sure it's not going to work. They may even need to be shortened. I don't know yet. So, but everything moves real nice. It's pretty easy to take apart. Um, so yeah, pretty psyched on this. It should be plenty strong with the way this is all built. So we're going to try and get this thing fitted into the car. Steve's working on taking the dash and the steering column all back apart. And what we're going to need to do is take the dash out because I actually want it to weld. There's like a lip back here 
where the dash uh, kind of sits to. So that way we can weld that bracket in there and then it's gonna sandwich the firewall in the front here. Um, again, a reminder, this, this firewall is temporary or going to be replaced. So we don't care about all these holes here. And we're gonna drill a few more in it. Um, so I'm gonna be making a firewall eventually. So we'll get the dash out, get this fitted up and uh, the corner is trimmed and everything so it fits in the car nicely. And then we will be ready to weld this in. And then we'll have to heat and bend the pedals to get them where we want them. And who knows what else, but we're getting close here. What we gotta do tomorrow. You just want to grab some of the yeah. This edge, the way I have it designed, this edge does sit a little bit below the bend. Okay. So. Alright, so we got the pedal cluster kind of mounted and you can see the holes are roughly lining up with where they were previously, which is what I was aiming for. Now, the one thing when I did my pattern, I knew this corner here, which is back in here was, you know, it needs to be rounded. I made everything to make my life easier when I mocked it up, uh, a sharp corner. So back, way back in there, it's actually hitting. It's hard to see. Of course, I'm blocking my light, but yeah, way back there, it's actually hitting. So I need to round that corner off. So we're gonna pull it out. Uh, round that corner off till everything fits and then all our bullet holes will pretty much line up. Now I did make everything like square and level so these holes they I don't I have a feeling they weren't really putting a level on anything so I'm sure the master cylinder one sat a little lower than the other one so we may need to open some holes up I don't know yet um, but we'll get all that fitted and then once the pedal clusters the, the brackets in then we could start working on making these pedals actually fit you can see that they're you know, the brake pedal sitting on top of the column right now, but I knew that was gonna happen. That's the easy part of this, using the torch to heat and bend the pedals is normal stuff for us. So we will get that sorted. So a little roundy round of the corners and we'll be ready to bolder up. sloppy with their cuts. No, they moved their hole up a tiny bit, so mm -hmm. we opened this hole a tiny bit up okay. higher, but I moved, I just moved it up, I don't know, whatever that was, a like half an inch or a right. quarter inch, just so that we weren't cutting into the, when yeah. I make my firewall, I'm not cutting into the corner of the, yep. so, um, but this is what we got to basically yeah. go from there to there, because most guys, they would have done what we just done. And that's it. It's pretty stuff. It's fairly stout. So maybe just putting a bracket here to here mm -hmm. is all you need just to just to stop that flex down. Yeah. Yep. So if that's the case, all we need to do is take a piece of. I need a press break a ninety mm -hmm. that'll go from this face down in, and then if we just drill four holes, two on this surface, two on this surface. Yep. That'll that'll lock it in that plane. Well, actually, yep. if we can get it. If we make it long enough to go from like there to here, that'll be a bigger stretch. Mm -hmm. Unless that's overkill.
Looks good from here. <laughs> Contributing all that I can. Of course. Yep, there it goes. Go. That looks about straight there, Mike. A little bit more. Right there. Uh, I need some more. Some more? Yeah. Well, look how close it is to the column. Yeah. Okay. Probably want to come my way. Yep. Because you're going to have to bring the pedal itself over. Yeah, because uh, you're going to probably want to bring it actually the opposite way that it was. Do a little more. Okay. Keep going. Yep. Alright. How's that looking like? That looks pretty good. Are you straighten that out? bring that pedal back, so... Yeah, when you bring that pedal back, it'll look good. Right around here. Bring, yeah. Bring the pedal back. Still a little more. Okay. See if you can still push it. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's leave that alone. And then we'll put the dash in, and we can heat that down there. Yep. You want to do the clutch yep. pedal right here while we're at it? Okay. Ready when you are. Probably good there, I think yeah. That's probably good there. Okay. Then I'll bring the pedal back out there. Yep. That quick. The yep. pedal pads are still there. Yeah, I do. I do like the shape of those pedal pads. That is true. They are pretty cool. Somewhere in this range. This car is so much easier to get in. Because the door opens suicide. Mm-hmm. Anything, the pedals are still a little long. You may have to shorten the pedals, yeah. honestly. Especially when you bring the pedal pads back, they're gonna get a little longer. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna have to probably. I could probably cut that whole last section off. Mm -hmm. Almost. I mean, I'm wearing boots, but now you are probably gonna keep your foot at an angle a little bit, but. Where it's at now, it's like touching my heel. <laughs> so, it's out here. Actually, the nice part about that is you can get your knee lower under the steering wheel. 
Yeah, that's what I'm trying to keep it because if you put this put this up too high, mm -hmm. then your knee's in there. So if you get it like right here where it's touching. Yep. And then, but I still think we need to bring that pad up Probably, a little bit. Yeah, it is awful low. Like you said, you're going to be on, you know. So if I want my foot here, like that, you know, it can be, we could pretty much cut off that. You can mm -hmm. take it up like six inches. Yeah. Right, yeah. You want to like at the ball of your foot almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I could put it right where that kink is, you know, where that second kink is yep. up here. We can move the pad and weld it right on there. Yep. And that would probably be ideal. But it, it there's nice and long still. You still got 12, 14 oh, yeah. inches of, of arms, so the leverage should be there for mm -hmm. and the brake is the brake I'd like the brake feels a little better, but it's probably gonna be the same thing. Mm-hmm. Use the Pythagorean theorem. So we're gonna keep right in. Can you see that light? Like, yep, keep going. Let me watch your hand quick. Let me get this work down. Right. Now you can move it around. Go ahead. Keep a going. A little bit more. A little bit more. Keep going. Keep going. Well, don't, right I don't there. need it perfectly flat. There. Now you're going to be again. Now you're probably... The pedal pad's going to be here against the column now. Uh. Yeah, it might be a little close that way. There you go. It doesn't need to be straight. It yep, needs you to you need to have enough clearance. Steve, can you quick sit in it while it's hot? Yep. I'm just seeing how's that. Because you gotta remember the pads are gonna right, be right if you bring the pad back over that's I mean you're gonna It's not terrible. I mean you could like you could just Yeah, that's kinda how you have to drive. Yeah, this. that's that's not an issue. That won't be an issue. Let me go. I feel better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we'll probably we can put the pad offset a mm -hmm. little bit too, like how this is. Right. Yeah. You could put it on either side of the. Okay. We'll leave it there for now. It was just too close to the column. Yep. A yeah. couple of washers. No one will ever know. Well, it looks great on here because the master cylinder is five sixteenths. It's just yeah. the holes they drilled in the firewall were. They were adjustable. They were adjustable. Yeah. I'm holding all of them. Oh, okay. So. I got. Oh. Trying to do this without burning myself. It's still a little warm down here. I bet it is. Okay, that one's on. The other bottom one. In like no, at no. all. I don't think that thing's going anywhere. I, I don't. I don't. I think you'd be hard pressed to move that thing around at all. <laughs> yep. We got pedals. All right, so we got the pedals all mounted. Got the dash back in. We bolted the master cylinders on, and this thing is solid. I can literally like rock the whole car with the pedal setup and the old firewall, fabricated firewall is barely even bolted into the body to be honest and it's that stiff already so when I build my firewall it'll be uh, even sturdier and also we'll have a lot more bolts uh, holding it in fasteners. So by doing all of that extra plate that I made at the end there and bolting that into that top rail which is kind of like a structural part of the cow that really helped in making this stiff and as I mentioned in some of the 
uh, original hot rods that I messed with and seen, a lot of them they would just bolt a plate right to the firewall and that's it. And you notice that when you push the brake and push the clutch, the firewall will flex like crazy and over time that kind of scares me a little bit. So by doing this I have that peace of mind, everything's going to work, be nice and sturdy, we're going to get better brake and clutch feel and also it's going to be safe. So uh, in the end there we were, we were heating and bending the pedals just to get them roughly where we want them to be. Um, you may notice that the pedal pads themselves are still like crooked because we don't know where we want them to be exactly till I get uh, the linkage built for the master cylinder and the clutch. Um, and also we, we're probably going to move these pedal pads up uh, so that they are more on the ball of your feet and not towards your heel. Uh, so I need to do some cutting and modifying but I need to build linkage, get some of that stuff set up first before we can go any further and start moving the pedals around because I'll end up just doing double work and I'm trying not to do that. I've already done that enough on this project. So um, that is pretty much the, the full uh, part of this video. So we'll be doing some small stuff off camera, but in the, uh, the next videos, I'll probably show what we did and we'll be working on tackling the next thing on this car, which I don't even know what it is. It's pretty crazy that we have a steering column that's nice and sturdy in the car. We got the pedals, all that stuff hooked up and the steering's hooked up. Um, we're moving along pretty good on this thing and I'm going to keep picking away doing stuff that I can do until we get the engine back or at least have some better measurements on the off the engine so we know where we can put some things and like the firewall and such. So thank you guys for following. Appreciate it. Catch you later.